If we lived in a matriarchal society that was run by women, what would the man's role become? Um, the hard workers, and we'd be the bitches at home. <laughs> what the fuck? She just, so she just said the patriarch. So she said the matriarchy would be the patriarchy. Subscribe to this channel. In case you are watching this channel, I have not subscribed. It was always like, oh, you need to find you a man that does this, 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 and this. But it was never, you know, like, it was people weren't teaching their sons, like, oh, well, you need to have a wife that does this, this, and this. Make sure you have a girl that does this, this, and this. It, it definitely was. There was a woman that cooked, cleaned, took care of the house, and was real motherly. There was plenty of things that boys in the, in the, before the feminist movement were taught about women. To respect, care, and provide. And the women were cook, clean, and take care of the kids. What else were we supposed to be taught to do? I feel like that's pretty... Pretty simple and cut and dry. It was always, you know, being more focused on the on, on girls finding the, you know, the most perfect man, the most chivalrous man, the man that's going to do all this stuff for you. But I feel like it really shouldn't be about, you know, finding somebody that provides all this stuff for you. It really should be about finding somebody that you guys can really make shit happen together and just elevate together. You know, it shouldn't be about about like, oh well, I provided this and you don't have to provide anything. I, that just no. How can a society that always places women first be called the patriarchy? It's a paradox. With that, with that last girl, like if, if we just split everything or if we just cut everything and we did every single thing together, that means we all have to do double the work. Instead of us just doing half the fucking work, half the time, and then coming together at the very end to where we can spend time together. But instead, now we're, we're working, we're doing this, we're doing that, we're coming home, we're taking care of the kids, we're doing this, we're doing that, and we have no time together. If, if the dude worked during the day and the girl worked during the night, or took care of the kids during the day and the house was clean and everything and they came home that means they got all this fucking time from after work until they go to bed for to go out to eat to play games to do anything with their family as a family together now it's you go to work you come home you clean up you spend some time with your kids not as much because their bedtime is coming and then you go on straight to bed because you got work the next morning it's Ooh, equality. Let's let's be equal. Let's all do the same fucking thing twice. Would you consider chivalry to be a female privilege? Uh, of course. If we're placing women first all the time, I don't think it would be called a patriarchy, because that doesn't even make sense. Would you consider chivalry to be a female privilege? Um, yes. Chivalry to be a female privilege? I would. Why? I, I would because I feel like chivalry sometimes has to be deserved because you know not nah, I don't feel like not 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 to like talk talk trash about anybody but I feel like chivalry is definitely something that should be deserved something that kind of should kind of be earned you know not 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 saying everybody should be like rude. deserved and earned is two different things if you earn it that means you worked for it if you deserve it it means you don't need to do anything and you just got it given to you or get it given to you food or anything but like like the the utmost chivalry you know like the opening doors and like doing all that good good stuff i feel like it should be earned right but don't women kind of expect that on a first date i feel like some people do but that's why you should you should talk to who you're going on your first date with to really see what they do and don't expect to see what does and doesn't work for you as your individual person if that makes sense how are we supposed to know if the girl is even taking her serious to even be chivalrous to her and what so was she saying that respect should be deserved and chivalry should be earned because i feel like respect shouldn't be deserved i feel like you earn it by just being respectful at first and then the other person should be respectful back to you i feel like being respectful is something that should be given without question at first but if you see someone not appreciating it or uh giving it back then you don't need to give respect to them no more you should just tell them to fuck off and go on about your day if we lived in a matriarchal society that was run by women what would the man's role become um the hard workers and we'd be the bitches at home <laughs> What the fuck? She just, so she just said the patriarchy. So she said the matriarchy would be the patriarchy. If the women could control everything, that would be the matriarchy. Oh my god, the amount of... That was crazy. How, how out of touch are you with what the fuck is going on in the world? That, that's, that you... Wow, man. Wow. Wow. Isn't that exactly what we have right now? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> so why would a why would a matriarchy be any better than a patriarchy if that's exactly what we have right now? Okay, sorry, I contradicted your question. Too many tequila shots. 
I feel like the opposite would literally happen. You know, women would, would end up, you know, bringing in all the bread, you know, working all the time, and then it'd be the men that were at home taking care of the kids, you know, cooking, cleaning. If that's what a matriarchy is, dog, I am all for it. Let's let's do that. Let's let's have that be the fucking life that we live. I would love to be at home taking care of the fucking kids while I just to sit at home in a house paid for me with food paid for me, that bills that are paid for me, and activities that I can go do that are paid for me and my kids without having to worry about any of it. I just gotta worry about her going out and getting the fucking bag. Please, 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 please let that happen. I'm I'm truthfully kidding though, because personally can't do that as a man. I genuinely feel like I have to provide for my family. But I guess I don't know, maybe I don't know. I feel I'd feel demeaned. And I don't think that's my problem. I feel like that's most men's problem. Maybe maybe it's a toxic masculinity thing. I doubt it though. I feel like that's just something that we evolutionarily developed in our genes because that's what we've done since the beginning of time. But I, there are a lot of there are a lot of deadbeats that I, I'm sure would not be deadbeats if the fucking woman was out cooking or not cooking. If the woman was out working while the husband was at home playing video games, making sure the kids aren't hurting themselves. But do you think women want to do all those dangerous, dirty jobs that are typically done by men? No. I can absolutely say they will not. So then, wouldn't the man's role pretty much stay the same as- And I feel like that's something that's evolved into women too, is that they don't feel like they need to work, so they don't want to work. It's perfectly fine. Would I call that toxic femininity? femininity? Fuck, that's a- Toxic femininity? No, because it's not. It's just biology. Doing all the hard labor jobs? Honestly, yeah, and then it would just it would just add fuel to the fire because it'd be not only do I have to or as a man not only do they have to go you know do all the working and stuff they also have a wife that's at home not taking care of the children not cooking not cleaning so then at that point it's just like why do you even have a wife? Can you? Sorry for pausing again, but that's why this wave of feminism is just out of touch with the world. Like the 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 first feminists they had something to fucking fight for. They wanted the right to vote. They wanted the right to have a voice. They wanted to have some type of security behind them in case their husband leaves them within their or their husband dies or whatever. Like they wanted some security since they. They didn't have money saved up like because they didn't work. So that wave of feminism was 100% just. This wave of feminism, they don't even know what the fuck they're fighting for. I swear to God, it's just the government, some government-fueled ideology is being pushed down our fucking throats for some reason that I, I don't think anyone even knows. I feel like this, this is way deeper because why in the fuck are we still pushing feminists so hard in news, in stores, TV, like in anything? Feminism is just so prominent Whenever there's nothing that they need to fight for. It's so prominent that these women are being brainwashed into thinking that they still are oppressed when they're not. Their grandmothers would be so fucking just disappointed with them with what the fuck they're even doing with our country now. With how the fuck they act and how the fuck they're behaving and how the fuck they're treating just everyone on earth acting like that. Everyone just needs to bow down and treat women like goddesses whenever they've done nothing to be a fucking goddess. Can you think of any matriarchies that have existed and stood the test of time? I mean... No. So then why do so many women want to tear down the patriarchy and replace it with a matriarchy? Uh, because they're not smart. They think with their emotions. They're not, they're not, you know what? I don't want to put it on all women, but I want to say that the women that believe in things like that, they're just naive. They're misled. Uh, yeah, my time's getting a little high. Uh, I'm going to end that there. If y'all like the video, please like. If you got anything to say, any critiques on me, on the video, anything you want me to talk about in the future, please comment down below. I'm all ears. Uh, and if you fuck with me, which I hope you guys do, please give me a subscription. And with that being said, deuces. Niggas ain't up and they bitches ain't spinning. Niggas falling off and they really ain't winning. Five to a dime, double up, yeah, I'm with it. Two pieces of the get shot through your fitting. Put a nigga on and I knock a nigga off. Made my own way, niggas know that I'm a boss. 10, 20, 30, yeah, had them bitches lost. Have you ever seen a bundle, baby girl, for a